Hello everyone, welcome back to JK Dentis. Today I am going to explain you about articulators. So before starting parts of articulators, let's see what are articulators. They are mechanical device on which maxillary and mandibular cast is mounted to simulate jaw movement. So we will start with this articulator. It is a semi-adjustable articulator. You can see this. The name of the articulator is Hanau Wide View H2 Semi-Adjustable Articulator. So I will be explaining you different parts one by one. So in this articulator you can see there is moving assembly and this is the stable part. This is called as the upper member. This is called as lower member. Okay. And there is vertical stop with the help of a pin. This pin will give the articulator a stop. Without this, your articulator upper member can move downward completely. So this is maintaining a stop. So we will see different parts one by one. The first part I'm going to explain you is condylar guidance. So you will get a condylar guidance here. This is an area of the condylar guidance. Here on the condylar guidance, there we get horizontal inclination as well as in the upper part, we get the lateral inclination. The horizontal inclinations have readings. So you can see there are readings from 0 to 60 degree and 0 to minus 20 degree. How the readings are adjusted. After taking the bite from the patient, what you do? you need to adjust the readings from this thumb screw. This thumb screw is moved upward as well as downward. And here there is a line. So with this line, you need to coincide your reading. For example, my reading is for now is zero. So I will lock the screw at zero. I think it is not visible clearly, if, but if you have the uh, now, you can practice it. Now, the second reading is this. By loosening this thumb screw, you can adjust the lateral inclination. So, lateral inclination have reading from 0 to 30. So, I will be adjusting it from the 0 to 30 like this. Okay. Whatever the reading is, you will adjust to that point. So now it is at 0. Now I will tighten the screw. From the patient, you can get only horizontal inclination. To have lateral inclination with this and now, you require to calculate by a formula. The formula is H by 8 plus 12 where H is the horizontal inclination. You will get the horizontal inclination from the patient bite. That is the protrusive bite of the patient. From that bite, you will have the horizontal inclination. You will program your articulator. And then by calculating the formula, you will get the lateral inclination. This articular do not, articulator do not give you lateral inclination or you can say it do not record lateral bite. It can record only protrusive bite. Okay. So now we have seen this, but you can see there is a lock. This lock is called as centric lock. When it is tight, you cannot move your assembly. Now I will loosen the centric lock from both sides. So we will see. Because of loosening, you can move your articulator to left as well as right, as well as the protrusive movement also. The Hanau articulator allows only 6 mm of protrusive movement and 3 mm of retrusive movement. Not more than that. That's why whenever you are taking patient protrusive bite, you need to take the bite at 6 mm or before it but not beyond 6 mm. If it is beyond 6 mm, your articulator will not accept the bite. Now, this was about the area. I will tighten the screw before proceeding because otherwise our articulator will move to the whole video. Okay. Now, we will see the next part. 
this part at this part your face bow is attached the frame is attached that is the condylar rod it is placed to this part now the next part is the incisal pin you can see the incisal pin i'll remove the pin completely now you can see the articulator has lost its control on the incisal pin you can see there are markings so there is a dark marking above the dark mark dark marking there are five lines and below that there are five lines at 1 mm so you need to adjust your articulator to the dark marking and this marking will help you to know the vertical dimension whenever you are increasing or decreasing the vertical dimension you can do it with the help of this markings again there are two markings on this pin the first marking is 37 and second one is 54 what do that 37 mean the 37 is based on bone width theory and it is representing frankward horizontal plane and the 54 marking will help you while placement of your teeth arrangement the incisal edge will lie in between the markings so this markings are very important this incisal pin has two ends one is pointed end and one is chisel end the pointed end is pointed because it is in the upward direction and whenever you want to have rest of the assembly you can do it with this pin now i'll again place the whole assembly and see you can get a stop okay so while mounting this part will help you to rest upper member of the articulator so you can do the mounting easily secondly this chisel land is there which will coincide with the zeroing you all you should always coincide the chisel land with the zeroing of the incisal table secondly you can see in this there is a width on which the chisel land being placed the width is 5.56 mm now we will talk about the incisal table incisal table there are two screws there is one big screw and there is below that there is a small screw the bigger screw is called as platform screw and the lower one is called as small lock nut when you loosen the platform screw you can move the incisal table and when you loosen the small lock nut you can move the incisal guidance upward and downward that is anteriorly and posteriorly the readings are from 0 to 60 degree antero posterior movement now you can see there are this wings now they are flattened the wings can be moved to adjust the incisal guidance from 0 to 45 degree so this can be moved from 0 to 45 degree while moving the table you see the markings here you need a torch to watch the markings because they are very light you won't be able to see directly from the eyes and this are the lateral wing so you can see the value of the lateral wing in this area okay and the incisal table anterior posterior movement in this area so this was all about the incisal table i have explained you about condylar guidance incisal pin incisal table sometimes we require customized incisal table so what we do we just remove the table completely from this area and place acrylic and from that acrylic we design customized table by asking the patient to move protruso as well as lateral movements and simulate it on a articulator so this is all about the parts of articulator now i have taken a rough idea how the face bow is now recorded imagine this is an orientation relation of a patient so i have already arranged the whole assembly you can see that so this assembly is need to be placed on the articulator i'll show how the assembly will look like after now i have arranged the whole assembly that is after taking orientation relation our face bow have been mounted 
so what is this this is a platform on which there is a pivot there is a wing like portion that is called as a pivot on which our bite fork rest okay so our assembly after mounting will look like this and secondly you can see that you need to arrange your condyler rods like this for placement and there is a 7 mm of correction on the rod so the articulator will lie in this point of the u shaped frame okay so in this way you are arranging the u shaped frame these are the lock nut screws the bite fork pivot the platform and the whole assembly so in this way you are transferring the orientation relation on the articulator so i have explained you in short what is articulator in my previous video i have given you information about the face bows different type of face bows and different parts of articulators to do any full mouth uh, case or any extensive fixed partial denture you should always have this assembly at your clinic for better understanding of the things and for better treatment i hope you have understood the topic if you have any doubts or you want any other videos you can request me through mail on jkdent.is@gmail.com if you like my video please subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you so much